this video we're going to look at how to round numbers to one or two decimal places. So if you're not rounding a number to one decimal place, that means you just want one number after the decimal point. If you're rounding a number to two decimal places, you want to have two numbers after the decimal point or two digits after the decimal point. So let's have a look at how to do that now. So if we're asked to round a number to one decimal place, for instance, 1.54, what that means is that you want to round it as a number with just one digit after the decimal point. Okay, At the minute, it's got two decimal places, a 5 and a 4 after the decimal point, and you just want to have one number. So I've just drawn a number line. 1.5 would be here. 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.6. And, uh, so if I was rounding 1.54 to, to one decimal place, as you can see, it's closer to 1.5 than it is to 1.6. That means we would round it down to 1.5 because it's left of the middle. So rounding 1.54 to one decimal place would be 1.5. If we wanted to round 1.57 on the other hand to one decimal place, you can see it's closer to 1.6 than it is to 1.5. So it would round up and it would round to 1.6. Let's look at some examples. So, the question says round 5.76 to one decimal place. So whenever you're rounding to one decimal place, you look at the second decimal place to see if you're gonna round up or keep it the same. So if it, this number here is a five, a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine, you round up. If it's a zero, one, two, three, or four, you round down. So, it's 5.76. The second decimal place is a 6, that means we're going to round up. So it would be 5.8. So rounding 5.76 to one decimal place would be 5.8. Next, round 61.74 to one decimal place. So again, we look at the second decimal place. The second decimal place is a 4, so that means we round down. So then it would be 61.7. So, 61.74 rounded to one decimal place then would be 61.7. Next, round 7.163 to one decimal place. Now this number has got three decimal places, or if it's got one, two, three numbers after the decimal point. Again, you still look at the second one. So the second number, the second decimal place is a six. So that means again, we're gonna round up because it's a six, it's above, it's five and above. So that means it's gonna be 7.2. You can ignore everything else. You just need to look at the second decimal place to see if you can round up or down for whenever you're going to round to one decimal place. Next, here's a recurring number, 8.6 recurring, so it goes on forever. And again, you just need to look at the second number after the decimal points, the second decimal place. Well, that would be a 6. So again, that means we're going to round up. So our answer would be 8.7. Let's look at some questions. So, 8.32 rounded to one decimal place. Well, the second decimal place is a two. That means we're gonna round down. So it's gonna be 8.3. 0.89, the second decimal place is a nine. That means you round up. So that means that it's gonna be 0.9. This number, 79.3843 rounded to one decimal place. Well, the second decimal place is an eight. That means you're gonna round up. So rounded to one decimal place, it would be 79.4. And finally, 8.99 rounded to one decimal place. The second decimal place is a nine. We're gonna round up. That would make this nine a 10. So that would keep a zero here and make the eight become a nine. So it'd be 9.0. Sometimes you might wanna be a little bit more accurate whenever you're rounding. So rather than rounding to one decimal place, you may wanna round to two decimal places. So to do that, instead of looking at the second decimal place, this time we're going to look at the third decimal place. So it says round 5.763 to two decimal places. So the third decimal place is a three. That means we're going to round down. So that means it would become 5.76. So to two decimal places, 5.763 would be 5.76. Next, round. 7.163 to two decimal places. Well, the third decimal place, because we're rounding to two decimal places, we only want two numbers after the decimal point. So we're gonna look at the third one. The third one's a three, so we round down. 
So it's going to be 7.16. Next, round 61.745 to two decimal places. So again, because we just want two numbers after the decimal point, we're going to look at the third. The third one's a five, that means we're going to round up this time. So it's going to be 61.75. And finally, round 4.2809 to two decimal places. We only want two numbers after the decimal point, so we're going to look at the third. It's a zero, so that means we're going to round down. So it's going to be 4.28. Sorry, not finally. Round 2.666 recurring to two decimal places. So we would have 2.6666 and so on. We only want two numbers after the decimal point, so we look at the third. It's a six, so that means we're going to round up. So it's going to be 2.67. Let's have a look at a few questions. So round all these numbers to two decimal places. So 8.784. 8.784, you look at the third decimal place, it's good. It's a four, so we're gonna round down. So it's gonna be 8.78. 0.1294, well again, you look at the third number after the decimal point, it's a nine, so you round up, so it's gonna be 0.13. 87.30521, again, you look at the third number after the decimal point, which is a five, we round up, so it's going to be 87.31. And finally, if we had 4.0995 and you wanted to round it to two decimal places, you'd only want two numbers after the decimal point, so we underline the third one. And we decide, well, because it's a nine, we're going to round up. So rounding the nine up gives you 10, so that means that you're going to then get 4.10. So that's how you round numbers to one or two decimal places.